Hi, in this video I'm going to cover some of the <coughs> some of the index laws. I've tried to anticipate all possible eventualities. However, if I have missed anything or if you have any questions, put put it in the comment section and uh, I will add it to the next video. Okay. Now index loads uh, as I'm showing here on the right hand side, what does AN mean? Let's start. AN basically, we mean A raised to the power N. This is how we explain it. A to the power N means A raised to the power N is equal to A times A times A N times. fairly simple concepts. So if I have uh, a to the power 4 means a times a times a times a. It's as simple as that. Trying with numbers, if I have 2 to the power 3 it will be 2 times 2 times 2 which will be 8. Uh, 4 to the power 2 it will be 4 times 4, which is 16. I hope I know my timetables. Uh, say 5 to the power 3 it will be 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to 125. This is a number one comes across quite often when they talk about something has got so many k's memory k is incorrectly assumed to be a thousand but really it comes from 2 to the power 10 which means 2 times 2 times 2 10 times up to 10 times which that will give us 1024 so when something has got 4K memory, it's 4 times 1024. And uh, this does not always have to be an integer. We could have a fraction, say 0 0.5 to the power 3 means 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 times 0 0.5 which will be 0.125. So basically, this is the meaning of what something to the power of something means, like a to the power n, 4 to the power 3, etc. Now, next we look at some of these index, index laws. What happens when we multiply indices together? Here, let's start with this first one. I have a to the power m times a to the power n, and this is a to the power m plus n. Now, you notice here in this equation, the base, this is the base. When we say a to the power m, a is the base, and m. They call it the index or exponent. So if the base of the two numbers, or it could be more than two numbers, are the same, the indices add up. As an example, if I have 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 2, this will be 2 to the power 3 plus 2, which is 5. Uh, 2 to the power 5 is 32. 2 to the power 3 is 8, 2 to the power 2 is 4, so 8 4 is 32. So whenever we have the base of the 2 is the same, but the indices are different, the indices add up. Let's try, uh, let's say if I have 3 to the power 2, I'm keeping it small numbers. Uh, because it's easier to calculate in my head. Uh, say times 3 uh, times 3 to the power 3. Now, 
Notice that here 3 on its own, when a number is on its own, it's implied that it's to the power 1. So 3 on its own is 3 to the power 1. So this would be equal to what? It would be 3 to the power, let's put this in bracket, 2 plus 1 plus 3. 2 plus 1 plus 3. This will give me it's 3 to the power 2 plus 1. It's 3. And 3 times 3 is 6. Let's see, th plus 3 is 6. So this is 3 to the power 6, which means 3 multiplied by itself 6 times. Which will be uh, yeah, three, uh, 729. So if the bases are the same, the indices add up. Now we come here to the next one. Here I have a to the power m. times b to the power m. Now notice here, the indices are the same, but the base is different. So in this situation, the index remains the same, and the bases are multiplied. As an example, I have 2 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 3. Here the indices are the same. So this will be 2 times 3, all to the power 3, which will be 6 to the power 3, which, which is equal to 216. So this is the opposite of the case where the indices are different. If the indices are the same, the bases are multiplied together. Let's try another example. Let's uh, s uh, let's use a small index because we don't want to make it too complicated. If I have 4 to the power 2 uh, times uh, 3 to the power 2 times 5 to the power 2. Now, these have got three. The indices are the same, so here I get the answer would be four times three times five to the power two. Now, four times three, 12 times five is 60. So this will be 60 to the power two, which will give me 3,600. Next, we try to explain what does a negative power means. If I have a, I have a to the power minus m. So what does it mean if we raise a number to a negative power? This basically means that 1 over a to the power m. <coughs> so if I have the most important one here, if I have something raised to the power minus 1, means it's inverse, it's 1 over a. For example, if I have 2 to the power minus 1, that means 1 over 2. If I have 36 to the power minus 3, is equal to 1 divided by 36 to the power 3. If I have uh, 4 to the power minus 2, it will be 1 over 4 to the power 2, which will be 1 over 16, and so on. So a negative power is just a subtraction, which the numerator will be 1 divided by the same number raised to the, po to the positive power. One more example. 4 to the power minus 3 is equal to 1 divided 4 to the power 3, which will be 
1 over 64. Now having defined what a negative power means, it will, it will help us to understand the division of numbers with indices. For example, if I have a to the power m divided by a to the power n here, because we can see that we can write a to the power m divided by a to the power n is a to the power m multiplied by a to the power minus n. Because as we just saw, a to the power minus n is equal to 1 over a to the power n. So once we have that, we know from our earlier law of multiplication of indices, so this becomes a to the power m minus n. You can either remember it as a multiplication or accept that if you have the division of two numbers where the base is the same, indices are different, the indices subtract. A few examples, if I have 4 to the power 2 divided by say 4 to the power 3, this will equal what? It will be equal to 4 to the power 2 minus 3, which will be equal to 4 to the power minus 1, and that we just saw is equal to 1 over 4 to the power 1. We don't write the power 1. Uh, try another. If I have 8 to the power 5 divided by 8 to the power 2, this will be equal to 8 to the power 5 minus 2, which will be 8 to the power 3 which if I'm guessing correctly must be 512. Now what happens when we have a fraction involving indices where the bases are different but the indices are the same? As you can guess, this is the case where we didn't have a fraction the index remains the same, the bases are divided together. So if I have a to the power m divided by a to the power n, it will be a over b, both of them to the power n. Uh, I have to erase this, this is m, because here we're saying the indices are the same. So as an example, 4 to the power 2 divided by 3 to the power 2 would be 4 over 3 to the power 2. If I have 6 to the power 3 divided by 3 to the power 3, this will be 6 over 3, all of it to the power 3. Uh, 6 over 3 is 2 to the power 3, this will be 8. So, <clears throat> just to recap, if the bases are the same, the indexes subtract. But if the bases are the same, if the bases are different, the, but the indices are the same, the bases divide and the they are raised to the same power. We, we next look at the uh, expression where we have a to the power m, we have a raised to some power and all of it raised to another power. In these situations the indices multiply. For example, if I have uh, where is this? If I have 2 to the power 3 and all of this is raised say to the power 2, then this will be equal to 2 to the power 3 times 2, which will mean 2 to the power 6, which will be 64, if I do my maths correctly, because I know 2 to the power 5 is 32. Uh, if I have 4 to the power 
4 to the power 2 all of it to the power 3 let's choose another number uh, or to the power 4 say this will be 4 to the power 4 times 2 which is 8 which means 4 multiplied by itself four, uh, 8 times I won't write all of it but the answer will be which is 65,536 now I didn't work that in my head I had to use a calculator there so there you go we next we next look at uh, f fractional indices like a to the power 1 over m well basically a to the power 1 over m it means the mth root of a for example if I have 4 to the power 1 over 2 this would be square root and when we have a square root we don't write the, the 2 here but there is a 2 here implied and square root that means square root of 4 which be, will be equal to 2 if I have uh, 3 to the power 1 over 3 it means the cube root of 3 so that's basically what a fractional index means is a is you put a radical sign and in the radical sign the number in the denominator is appears in the little <coughs> v v sign or v shaped part of the radical do one example 25 let's say 125 to the power 1 over 3 I knew this one so this would be the cube root of 125 which will be 5 let's do an ISO 5 there next we look at a situation of a fractional power where the numerator isn't 1 like the example before in this situation as I'm written here a to the power m over n this is the nth root of m so what's in the numerator becomes the index under the radical sign and what's in the denominator appears in this little trough in the radical sign uh, as an example let's try 4 to the power 3 quarters this will equal to the, what's in the denominator comes here in the trough so the fourth root of here 4 to the power 3 and I have worked this out on the calculator it is 2.828 Um, as an example to continue how we would work this out for example if you're asked what is the exact value of this that means we don't want decimal points I mean if there's any thirds we want to keep them so I can write this as the fourth root of 4 to the power 3 here I will use some of the material we covered earlier this will be the fourth root of now uh, four I can write as two to the power two and all of this is raised to the power three now I can write this as fourth root of two to the power two all of it to the power three as we saw earlier becomes two to the power two times three which is six now I can write this as the fourth root of 2 to I will write 6 as 2 plus 4 this would be 2 to the power 4 times 2 to the power 2 
Now, 2 to the power 4, and this is the fourth root, so 1 lot of 2 will come out, and I'll get the square root, uh, the fourth root of, let me write this a bit more clearly, it will be the fourth root of 2 to the power 2, which will be 4. So the exact answer would be 2, the fourth root of 4, which will be equal to 2.8828, as I've had it up here. And last but not least, what happens when we have a negative fractional power? Well, it's the same as if we have a normal fractional power, but everything would be the reciprocal. If I'm to use the previous example, 4 to the power minus 3 quarters will equal to 1 over the fourth root, remember what's in the denominator comes in the trough here, of 4 to the power 3, which we worked it out to be 2 fourth root of 4. I have tried to cover all eventualities in this video, but I'm sure there's a few I've missed. If you have any particular examples you would like me to solve for you, uh, please put it under in your comments. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.